Today, at around 8.30 am, the Chandrayaan-3 has entered the 100 km range circular lunar orbit. The short firing of LAM engine has put Chandrayaan-3 into an orbit of 153 km by 163 km as intended. So far, the journey of the spacecraft is going exactly as planned. The lunar circulation phase has begun on August 5 by executing the lunar orbit insertion. And it was completed with the last lunar bound maneuver performed on August 14th. There is only about seven and a half day for the landing of the module. As you may know, the landing module comprises of Vikram the lander and Pragyan the rover within it. According to the plans, it will attempt the soft landing on the lunar surface on August 23rd. But first, it has to separate from the propulsion module, which will happen tomorrow while the spacecraft is orbiting in the 100 km circular orbit. On Tuesday, ISRO Chairman S. Somanda said, Chandrayaan-3 has been hailed as an important mission and we are all looking forward to its soft landing in a few days. After the breakaway from the propulsion module, Vikram will have to again put into an elliptical orbit, which will be carried out by ISRO through several maneuvers. The propulsion module will remain on the 100 km orbit. It has spectro-polarimetry of habitable planet Earth payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. After separating with the propulsion module, the DBOS maneuvers performing a landing module will eventually put Vikram in an orbit where the Perlune closest point to the moon is 30 km and Apollon farthest point from the moon is 100 km. Once that has been achieved, the most critical part is the landing. For that, the process of reducing the velocity of the lander from 30 km height will begin. ISRO also have to change the horizontal orientation to a vertical one before Vikram makes the final descent on August 23. After the launch on July 14 from the Sadir Dhawan Space Center, Chandrayanthi has completed five earthbound maneuvers between July 15 and 25. These maneuvers raised its altitude to more than 1.2 lakh km at Apogee, which is the farthest point from Earth. Then, the translunar injection were performed on August 1st which put it in a path towards the moon at an orbit of nearly 3.6 lakh km. As the spacecraft reached the moon on August 5th, lunar orbit insertion were executed with the help of retrofiring LAM engine, and the maneuver put it in an elliptical orbit of 164 by 18,074 km around moon. Since lunar orbit insertion, Chandrayaan-3 has remained in four elliptical orbits. The spacecraft completed its first orbit around the moon on August 6. Then, it successfully underwent a planned orbit reduction maneuver. The retrofiring of the engine brought it closer to the moon's surface to an orbit of 170 km by 4,313 km. On August 9, at 1.30 pm IST, Chandrayaan-3 completed its second orbit. Thus, a maneuver was performed to reduce the orbit to 174 km by 1,437 km. After five-day journey on third orbit, a precise maneuver were performed on August 14th at 11.50 am IST through which the spacecraft achieved a near circular orbit of 